This is lesson 2.5b, the second one in 2.5 in trigonometry, further applications of right triangles. And we're looking at example 3. And the example 3 says a method that surveyors use to determine a small distance, and that small distance is between P and Q, and they're calling it D. We're trying to figure out what this distance is. All right, so a couple things that they do. Well, anyway, this is called the subtense bar method. So what happens is if they find out what the angle this is and they find out the length of this line, they can find this distance here. So again, remember what I said in the last example. You have to know one of the side lengths in order to find out what you're looking for, one of the other side lengths. So in this case, we have to know this distance and then we had to have an angle here in order to find this distance right here. And so that's what we'll do. All right, so um, what do they say? The subtense bar with length B, this is the subtense bar right here, and it's length B. If you cut B in half, you get B over 2 and B over 2. So half of B for here to here and from here to here. So this, the whole thing is B. All right, so what do they tell us? Um... The subtense bar with length of B is centered at Q and perpendicular to the line of sight between P and Q. So they're just telling you this length right here is perpendicular to PQ and is double and Q is the center point. So this distance is going to be the same as this distance. So if this whole thing is 2, this distance is 1 and that distance is 1. All right, so angle theta is measured, so they're going to measure this. And they have equipment to do this. We can take a, uh, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it right now, a transit. And they can measure, they can go from here to here, and then measure an angle from here to here, and get this distance from here to here. And then they can figure this length out based on that. So, what they're doing for part A is they're saying find D, find this length, when we know that theta is, theta is 1 degree, 23 minutes, 12 seconds. That's how, that's the degree measure of theta right here. So, go ahead and change this to um, a decimal which you should be able to do that with your calculator. And it ends up being 1.3867 uh, degrees. So that's what theta is in degrees. All right, so once you find that out, and they also tell you that B is going to be 2 centimeters. So not very big at all, not even an inch. So this length here is not even an inch long. Okay. So what they're interested in doing, again, is finding D. So let's see if we can do that. We're going to look at one triangle. That's what we're looking at. Because we're looking for D. We're not looking for anything else. So that being the case, if we take this angle right here that we found is 1.3867, we're going to have to take half of it, right? because we're only looking for half. That, that's bisecting that angle. So we're going to take our angle here over 2. So the angle that we're looking for is uh, not 1.367. It's divided by 2. So divided by 2, we get this many degrees here, right here. So um, the angle that we're using in our trig part is going to be I'll do this in red here. This angle right here, half of that. All right, so we know that. We also know that the line over here is half of however long B is. And so in this case, it's just one. So this length right over here, and I'm going to put this, I guess, in black, is going to be, the length of that's going to be one. So what do we know? We know this angle, and we know it's opposite. So we know um, the angle is 0.6934, and we know the opposite 
is 1. And the opposite of is going to be on top because whether we're using sine and have an opposite over hypotenuse or tangent opposite over adjacent, our opposite goes on, on the top. So we can just put the 1 up there. Now we need to find out what we're looking for. Are we looking for tangent or um, sine here? Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I'm not looking for the hypotenuse. I'm looking for the adjacent. I'm looking for this line right here. So I'm going to be using um, tangent in order to figure that out. So I'm going to write this as tangent of 0.96.6934 equals 1 over d, which is my adjacent. So I go ahead and uh, figure this out using my calculator, and I get the length be of d being 82.6341 centimeters. That's how long d is based on that information. Now the book did it a little different. Instead of finding the tangent of this, they found Let's see if I can get rid of some of this. They found the cotangent of this. So what they did is they just took everything that I had already written down and uh, they wrote cotangent of that angle that we had, um, which was 0.6933. I guess I made it 4 degrees and they have it instead of opposite over adjacent they had adjacent over opposite so the only difference is they put the cotangent of that and these were flipped around but other than that it was the same so adjacent over opposite would have been D what I was looking for over the opposite which was 1 okay so do you see why they use cotangent instead of tangent? Because the denominator was 1, so now all of a sudden they just have d equals the cotangent of 0.6934. They didn't have to multiply or divide or do anything like that. It was just already written in the correct way, and they could still get the 82.6341 based on the information that we have there. So it's a lot faster way maybe of doing it using the cotangent, but it's not a more right way of doing it. So either way is fine.